Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes, and accordingly all experience has shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Thomas Jefferson, the Declaration of Independence. It is an affront to all thinking people that our leaders are held to standards of religiosity and not reason. It is unjust that juvenile and bigoted members of society are thrust into office only to plant their heels unto the liberty of those who they are elected to represent. The intolerable abuses and usurpations of the religious right cannot go unchallenged. We as a nation have lost sight of a simple and forceful idea which I cherish. A belief springing from reason and reason alone should stand superior to one based on faith, tradition, or popularity. And those who would oppose this menace, you among them, dear viewer, and I, seem content to bicker and split hairs to the molecule. We have power, but no focus. Numbers, but no community. This sporadic and wasteful misuse of our energy is the biggest obstacle between us and a better world. We have only to whisper, each of us in our own way, that religion has no place in our governance. That anyone who stands against the equality of life, health, and opportunity for all people is an enemy of humanity and reason both. Our children deserve a better world than this, and we can deliver them one only by uniting against the forces of intolerance and injustice. And we don't have to fight, and we don't have to win. We have only to speak loudly and proudly. I stand for reason, not faith. I stand for a truer definition of freedom, not one that is contrived to exclude anyone who questions religious hegemony. I do not implore you to make a stand against anything, only to stand and say, I am an atheist and I am human. I am not a monster, I am not a traitor. I am an atheist and I am your friend, I am your family, I am your neighbor. We have only to counter those who insist religion insinuate itself where it has no place by raising our voices. We carry no swords, we raise no armies. We know who stands for reason. Own that. We stand for reason. We stand for universal equality. We stand against anyone of any faith who would lie or dissemble to children to censor science and rewrite history for a false god so dysfunctional that only brainwashing and lies can keep alive this allegedly divine truth. Speak this to anyone and everyone, whether they would hear you or not, and we will have our place in history. Buddha smile upon you all.